Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a splurge of a moment thing, kind of. I've been thinking about this for years now. I, back in the day, tried to bleach my own hair. I tried to go gray. I tried to just go blonde and it always turned out really, really bad. But I had long processed hair. I had box dye in my hair. I had like four dark hair only, like red stuff from like Sally's that you put developer in and it's supposed to like lift it and turn my hair red. So I was always trying to bleach on top of that and keratin treatments. So my hair was very, very damaged when I tried to bleach my hair and it was long. So this year, um, I was supposed to go natural and wrap my hair up. I got tired of that and ended up just cutting it off. It looks beyond crazy right now because it's not styled, but yeah, I ended up cutting my hair off, surprise. Um, and I got a new piercing if you haven't seen already. It's still kind of swollen, so if you see me like talking weird, it's because it's still kind of swollen. So yeah, I decided since, well, I cut my hair off, um, if I mess up, I can just shave it all off again. <laughs> so I am going to go to Sally's and buy the stuff, and we're going to do this. I'm gonna buy a, a color just in case it is too brassy or um, if I can't lift it all the way. This is my natural hair color. I don't have any box color, any process on it. This is my natural curl, well, brushed out because I've, I've put coconut oil in it so it can be drenched in that for just a little extra protection. Um, I do need a haircut, so I'm going to do this first before I get a haircut just to make sure I don't have any cuts on my scalp because you know, if you put bleach on your scalp while there's cuts, it's gonna burn. So I'm going to do this and then get a haircut and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and go to Sally's and get the stuff. And only cause you know you popping, yeah. You got it, girl, you got it. Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've updated you guys. I got a new piercing, I cut my hair, I said I was gonna wrap it for a year or cut it and I wrapped it for like two months and I got tired of it so now it's cut um, I got a new car and the coronavirus is going on right now so yay 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 to that that's really fun other than that nothing new has really been happening sorry this is not a like flattering angle for me but I haven't got a stand in my car yet. I just have the one that you put in the air vent and it like, I don't know, it bounces up and down a lot because it's so, my phone's so heavy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get a mount because I plan on recording in my car a lot more. Well, I just pulled up at Sally's. I will update you guys when I have the stuff. I can't record in there because I have to hold my child and I can't hold my child, record and pick up stuff off the shelf. So I will update you guys when we are back in the car and do a little haul. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're back from Sally's. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got and probably eat my breakfast and then we'll get started. So I've already had some gloves. I actually bought these because I did my grandma's hair a while back. I have a spatula. I've already had this because again, I tried to bleach my hair multiple times and I already had a bowl. Um, this bowl I've had for years and years. There's still like some red hair dye in there, but we're gonna ignore that. So what I actually got from, oh wait, it doesn't even say it on that side. <laughs> what I got from Sally's. So to start, I got some processing caps. I got a new brush. I have one, but I did my, my grandma's hair purple and there was still purple all on the brush. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get new ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But there's purple in it, so I didn't want to use it anyways. I got a two-step protein kit because I am bleaching my hair. I want to make sure that I'm putting all those bonds back in my hair to stop the breakage. And then I didn't know this was a thing. I was gonna get Quick Blue, which is like a powder lightener that everyone uses. And that's probably where I messed up at. But I got cream lightener. Um, I've heard this stuff is really good and it's for, it's the sensitive scalp um, brand. Let me make sure. Yeah, well it says sensitive scalp. 
So yeah, it's a sensitive scalp line and it's cream developer, which I didn't know this was a thing. I guess it's supposed to be better on your scalp, which is nice because I have a sensitive scalp. And I got this toner. I got Wella. I didn't get T18 because when I looked at the sample patch on there, that wasn't really the color I was going for. And I noticed a lot of people get T18, but they want blonde hair. I feel like when people process it and they use T18, you get the color that is on the, the sample swatch, but everyone's so disappointed with the color that comes out. And I don't understand why, because it matches what the color sample says. But I know some people do over process. It ends up turning like this color purple and it'll be blonde in some patches, but that's when you over process. You just have to follow the directions. It's really not that hard. So I got, O or 050 or however you say this but I got this color in the um, toner because I depending on how light I can get my hair if I like the color that it is I'll keep it if not I'm gonna tone it and I want like a gray ashy color and this is cooling violet so it's going to oppose all of the orange and brassiness in my hair um, that's what some people mistake at they think purple shampoo is gonna take all of it out because it's purple It will help a bit purple shampoo is it's more of a maintaining thing You're supposed to keep using it and progressing with it to keep your you know where you're at Basically, it's not going to tone it or take the brassiness out completely and that's what most people get confused So I want to go like a gray color um, So that's why I got this now They were out of the Wella developer. So I had to get 20 volume developer and just like the Sally brand, which is okay. I've used this stuff before and it, it works fine. Um, I just like to match going with brands. And then let me cover up the color because if I have to use the color, it's going to be a surprise. But I did get Arctic Fox for the color just in case. And I'm kind of excited to use this. I might not even use the toner depending on what the color comes out. I might just put the color in my hair because I've been wanting color in my hair for a while now. And the good thing about the color is that you don't have to use any more developer, which is going to be the good thing because I'm already putting 30 volume on my hair with um, the lightener and then I'm putting 20 volume on my hair with the toner. So that's another reason why I got the protein pack. And this is a two step. So um, you start with this one and then you finish with this and it's supposed to be really good. So in all, in all I spent about $45, which is not bad if it turns out good. I mean, I probably saved a couple hundred dollars from going to the salon, but I'm just gonna have fingers crossed that it does work and that everything goes right because I really want this color. If it doesn't work, like I said, and I don't like the um, surprise color that I got, I will just cut my hair off again. I've been bald before and personally, I like it. Uh, my hair has been falling out really bad and that is why I cut my hair off. I just got done having a baby and postpartum hair loss did not pass me up at all. It, definitely hit me and it hit me hard. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to mix up the lightener. Let's put these gloves on. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's a one to two ratio. Oh, it smells like, um, like shampoo. It doesn't smell like bleach, which is nice. That smells really good. Wow. And if you can, buy one of these little whisks. They are so nice. Um, Sally sells them. I've had this one forever. I just make sure I clean it really good, obviously. Okay, now it smells like bleach. Just kidding. I think once it starts activating, it's like, mm. Okay guys, so <laughs> we moved into the bathroom. Um, it didn't smell like bleach at first, but then it really started to smell like it and I don't want my son to smell that. So we'll just be in a whole different room. He's right there so I can still see him, don't worry. I'm just gonna mix up a little bit more. This stuff is really creamy, it's really nice. Okay, pretty 
good consistency, I would say. I don't really have a set way on how I'm gonna do this because I really cannot see the back of my head. So, I'm just gonna comb it, make sure all the tangles are out. Make sure you don't comb your scalp. You don't want any cuts. All right, I'm so nervous. So yeah, again, if I look right here, it's just because my mirror is in front of me. And yeah, all right, here we go. And don't put it on the roots. It's so hard to see the back. I guess my hair isn't really that long. I don't know, I'll still do the roots last, cause. Oh yeah, good thing I moved into the bathroom cause this stuff is working. All right, so I have it on all of the longer pieces. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes and then I'm gonna go back and lighten all of my hair. Um, you don't wanna start with the roots, definitely if you have longer hair because the heat from the scalp helps it lighten faster. I'm gonna let that sit, like I said, for five minutes and then I'll come back and cover the rest. See you in a little bit. I went through and lathered it just a little bit more um, on some of the longer pieces, like over here this piece right here and a couple pieces it's actually starting to lighten yay um i'm gonna give it about two more minutes and then finish the rest off it's starting to lighten and then i'm gonna go ahead and put this cap on now with this cream developer it says that it doesn't need any heat to process so i'm only gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes and then take it off so my hair doesn't catch on fire I really hope that I can get it to the color that I want it to be and not have to put the color in it, but I kind of want to put the color in it because it's a really pretty color. So we'll see. So it is lightning. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the rest of my hair.
Okay, so I went ahead and washed my hair. I used this shampoo and conditioning, coconut milk. I did not scrub very hard with the shampoo or the condition or the conditioner because my scalp is sensitive and my hair, I just bleached it and don't want it to break off. So I'm expecting it to be orange and yellow, maybe a little patchy. And yeah. Yeah. So Oh my god. Well, it's pretty much even. Well, except for a few like the dark spots here, but lightening the ends and then the roots. I'm gonna need to go back right here with some more bleach. Um, and I know there's a patch back here that I missed, I can see it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far. I'm gonna bleach it one more time. But first, I'm going to put some more coconut oil in it and let it air dry. I don't want it to um, be too much heat on it since I am bleaching it again. And I'm only bleaching it one more time. I'm not going to go any more than that. to make sure that I get these ends first, like these little dark ends. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go around the border and bleach all of this first. This is the back. Once it dries, I'll come back and show you guys and then we will get the second bleaching going and see what it looks like after that. So yeah, bye. So this is what my hair looks like dry. It does have coconut oil in it, but as you can see, I need to touch up here, um, here, around the edges, and I missed the big spot right here in the back of my head. Go figure. So I'm gonna start with the dark spots first and lighten those. Let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then go in and do a full coverage. My roots are pretty bright, as you can see but they are gonna need to be lightened again because they are getting low. Um, I'm not mad at how it looks. The only part I'm mad about is this big ass spot that I missed in the back of my head. But I kind of figured that was gonna happen. I only have one in here and it's super tiny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up some more of my lightener. I'm just going to fast forward through this because you guys already seen it and I have to turn on my vent because I have the door closed now um, and I don't want to die of inhaling bleach fumes. So here we go.
I have about 10 more minutes to go. I just wanted to update you guys. I think it's looking really good. I'm so excited to tone it. Well, I'm excited to wash it out and see it and then tone it and see what it's looking like. Hopefully it goes well. If not, I have a really pretty color that I'm going to put in my hair and I'm kind of waiting if I want to tone it or just put the color in my hair. We'll see. But yeah, about 10 more minutes to go and we'll wash this out. I just washed my hair out from the second bleaching and I accidentally left on for 10 extra minutes because I got sidetracked with my kid. So I washed it out, used the same shampoo and conditioner. Again, I didn't scrub it like I usually do just because I just bleached my hair and my hair is really sensitive right now and so is my scalp. Um, so yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen this one little curl right here. So we're gonna see it together and decide tone it or dye it the mystery color. And don't take your oh my gosh. Wow. It is really even. I'm very proud of myself. I never get my hair this even when I'm bleaching it. Wow. All right, let's see how it looks when it dries. But what I was saying when I took the towel off was don't scrub your hair like this because again, you just bleached your hair and it just, it went through a lot. So just have it dry. I don't recommend combing it or brushing it. Again, this is my version here. Um, so, and I doused it with coconut oil both times. Wow, it still feels really good. I've never had a bleaching go this well before. That's crazy. I think I want to tone it and see what happens. Wow, so look at that.
Okay guys, I just rinsed it out from toning it. <laughs> um, my hair doesn't feel as damaged as it has before. It definitely feels like, I mean, I just bleached it twice and then toned it, so wasn't expecting it to feel like it was, and I'm pretty sure my curls are messed up, but it's okay, my hair's short. I am, I was going to do this, but I think I'm gonna wait until later tonight to do this. I'm actually going to put my coconut oil in, my coconut curls, and some um, Dugru hair stimulating oil, and I'm going to style it. And then while the sun's out, I'm gonna take some pictures outside so we can see the real color. But let's see how it looks now. Oh my God. You guys, it looks crazy right now, but oh my God. Wow. I really have gray hair, I am so excited. I'm just putting some coconut oil in it. I look like a little old lady. Uh, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of my hair stimulating oil in it. This is just because, um, since my hair was falling out from postpartum, I just started using this stuff. Just a little bit on the scalp. Wow, I can't believe it actually turned out gray. That's crazy. I've been wanting gray hair forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put some coconut curl in. I just style with this stuff, so. I'm gonna have to style my hair differently because as you can see, my curls are <laughs> perfectly gone. Okay, so I'm going to let it dry and then I'll style it because I have a lot of product in it right now. So it's just like bleh. But um, I'm so amazed that it came out gray. <sighs> you guys, it worked. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I have been working for about four hours now on my hair. Two bleaches, one toner. Um, I did not do the protein treatment because my hair is still pretty good. Um, I need a haircut and don't mind my size. I have a lot of oil in my hair right now to calm my scalp down. It actually only tingled when I first put it on and then it didn't burn or anything afterwards, which I'm really happy about. That sensitive creamer is really nice. I really suggest getting the um, the cream developer and the cream lightener versus the powder. Um, I feel like it did a lot more lightening than any powder bleach that I've ever used and the results came out stunning. Um, I absolutely love it. I am so happy that it came out gray. I've wanted gray hair for so long. Um, Oh, it's perfect because once I'm kind of over this, I'm going to go ahead and put that color in and I'm honestly, I'm so excited to do that. 
Um, I'm so excited to rock this hair. I've been wanting gray hair for so long and I know some people are so against it and they're like, why do you want gray hair? Like everyone doesn't like gray hair this and that. Like I love it. I think it looks so good and I have dark eyebrows. So I feel like me being blonde, having dark eyebrows, like, I don't know, maybe it just wouldn't look right on me, but other people can rock it. I feel like I can't. So I'm just so happy that it, oh, look at it. And my curls are still popping. I need a haircut bad, but I'm just, I'm so happy. I only had a few pieces of hair fall out, but other than that, nothing fell out. My hair still feels really good. Um, I don't know, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy to have it. Oh, it's been a long time coming. I'm just so happy I did this at home and it only cost me $45. Like, please buy, don't take this as a uh, tutorial because it is not a tutorial. I do not want you to mess your hair up. I have really short hair, it's virgin hair, no box dye, no hair dye. I don't put heat on my hair or nothing. Like this is straight up just my hair, my color hair. I've never done anything to it. So, um, and I've really studied and educated myself on how to bleach my hair from watching other people mess up and watching other hair dressers like react and like balancing what they say to do, what they say not to do and kind of just like taking it in and learning the process of it. So please do not take this as a tutorial and go out and do the same stuff that I did. Definitely if your hair is not the same as mine. Do not do it because you will not get the same results. I can tell you that now. If you do, congratulations, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to because we don't have the same hair. So don't spam me in the comments talking about why is my hair turning green or like why is it this and that? Because I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling you to copy me. Please don't. Um, but yeah. I will go ahead and insert the clip of my hair in the natural light because I'm still in the house, as you can tell. I'm sitting by the window so you can kind of see it. It does look pretty dark. Um, I do like, like I said, have oil and coconut oil and um, some curly stuff in my hair to put that moisture back in there. It doesn't feel dry, but I can definitely tell like I did just bleach it twice. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling and end this video until then. Yeah, I'll see you guys around in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload. And give this video a share because I need more subscribers. I want to talk to more people. I want to vibe with more people. So, yeah. <laughs> Zabie wants to say bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> he's such a good sport oh my god i love him so much but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because if not i'm just gonna keep rambling and talking about my hair <laughs> so i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye <laughs>